Well, big news coming out of Cobbity Equine over the past few days concerning their breeding industry. More on that shortly, but I did catch up with Luke McCarthy firstly to talk about his chances at Club Angle on Saturday night and also the move to Queensland for the Winter Carnival. Well, Luke, before we get on to this exciting news concerning the breeding industry as far as Cobbity Equine is concerned, a lot of chances on Saturday night commencing with the consistent, the croupier in race two. Yeah, he just had a freshen up Mike. His form was super before that um, short freshen up. He just come up with a little bit sick, so I think he might have 10 days off and he, he might need the run Saturday night, but he, he always runs a good race. Wide is Gator concern? Yeah, I, look, I, I, I wouldn't be expecting him to win this week from the water straw and a few of the main dangers drawn inside him, but he'll, yeah, he sort of, you need, you know what I mean, like you need a couple of runs to be at your top. Two outstanding chances in the third. Mark Shard and also out Orlando back from his stint in New Zealand following the slots race. This looks a nice race for him. Yeah, out Orlando, he come back from a break here as super and probably didn't go as well in New Zealand as we'd hope. But look, his work's been good and he likes the 2300 and yeah, I'm sure he'll run a good race. Jack Six without Orlando, you're taking the race behind Mark Shard? Yeah, I'll drive Mark Shard. He's well, it's probably a touch down on him on Saturday. I thought he maybe should have finished a touch better but he um he just pulled up well and you know he might have just been a bit easier on him between runs and he i'm sure that run will tighten him up for the weekend and he does like the longer trip i'm a renegade disappointing here last week six beaten 35 meters but prior to that she won three on trot we expect better from her this time around yeah i hope so i was when i drove her in the heat for brad i was absolutely thrilled with her and i thought she'd be winning here saturday night and she definitely was unders and you know um weeks long time in horse racing so hopefully Brad can turn around and have a spot on for the final. Over to race eight number four Major Jealous, a former Kiwi was he one run short here last week? Yeah definitely and you know that um, long trip at Menangle and the long straights probably just found him out late but I still thought he went pretty good and you know he'll take plenty of benefit from that run in an easier race so I thought he looked a really good chance. That's right, certainly interesting there, number six is a long start us, formerly with Tony Peacock, now with you, Majestic Simon, formerly in Queensland, also now with Melinda and yourself, and Kai Valley Chief, Brent Lilly, he's got this fella flying, have you sorted out your drives? Oh, not yet, I'll probably drive um, Illawong Stardust, I drove here last start and do really like her, but um, the way Kai Valley Chief went Saturday night, you know, he'd be a great drive as well. So, and Majestic Simon's got good Queensland form, but yeah, you know, he, he may need the run to adapt to the track. The best of them, Luke? I thought Major Jealous. As always, the Team McCarthy logo will be flying high over the Brisbane Winter Carnival. We're on the verge of that particular uh, outstanding carnival once again, and no doubt you'll be there in force. Yeah, really looking forward to it. We've got um, quite a strong team that sort of been getting ready to head up there that had freshened up and, um, you know, a little bit of a good mixture, you know, mares, three-year-old fillies, three-year-old colts, um, free-for-allers. So, yeah, we've got a quite a, we think we've got quite a good, strong team to head up there and really looking forward to being part of the carnival. The headline acts, Luke? Well, look, Spirit of St. Louis is obviously, obviously going to be our benchmark horse, you know, if he's Hunter Cup, Miracle Mile form, he's couldn't have been going any better. He's trained back super. He's not far off a trial, maybe a couple of weeks. So he'll, you'd think he'd be a major player. We're really happy with Chilabi Kung Fu, how he's come up. So without to get too ahead of ourselves, he's trolling tomorrow. So um, hopefully trolls good. And if he comes through that and he's sound, you know, I think he'd measure right up to them top races. How's King of Swing settled into retirement? Yeah, he's good. He's, you know, he's, we still do a little bit with him most days. He's in the water walker and stuff. and. Um, just to wind him right down, but yeah, I'm sure come September he'll be very happy. Luke, I received an email last night concerning some exciting news from Cobbity Equine as far as the breeding side of the industry is concerned, in particular looking towards Queensland and New Zealand. Yeah, we're, um, look, we're, it hadn't been formally announced yet, but we're looking to stand bling it on in Queensland this year, um, you know, with all the mayors in New South Wales, plus being dual eligible for that the Queensland bonuses, they're already up to 22 and a half, and there's strong rumours around they're going to 26,000. So um, he was our sort of top pick for that job in Queensland, and um, you know there might be another one or two at this stage. And also, you know, obviously King of Swing, McWicked, Cat Midnight, all, all the other stallions, but particularly King, um, the semen will be available chilled to New Zealand. That's exciting news for both sides of the Tasman. Yeah, hopefully, and um, of course, you know, King was bred there, and you know, Brecon Farms 
you know, the strong bloodlines out of that. So, you know, a lot of breeders in New Zealand have indicated they would like to breed breed to him and you know, hopefully he gets well supported. Well, congratulations on the newsletters that come out each and every month. You cover all aspects of the industry as far as your business is concerned, owners, trainers, a wonderful production and congratulations to all concerned. Yeah, thanks, Mike. It's, um, you know, the way of the world now, the um, social media and try and keep everyone up to date on what's going on and, you know, Thoroughbreds do it so amazing and we've just got to do our best to, to keep up with them. Well, look, as always, an in-depth look at what's happening with Cobbity Equine. Good luck on Saturday night. Yeah, thanks, Mike, and I'm um, really looking forward to being part of the Queensland Carnival and, and getting up there.